Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, another Freely Chief Friday. I am going to introduce myself because I think I don't ever do that and I did it last time and I think that's what I should be doing. So I want to make sure everybody knows my name is Amy Frilici. That's why we call this Frilici Friday. My friend Sandra out in the Seattle area dubbed that, I don't know, many years ago and I just thought it was so cute. So yeah, thank you guys for joining us. Frilici Friday, Facebook Friday. Bernice, hi, welcome. How are you? We are suffering here in Michigan. I'm I have my like um, winter, I don't know, winter vest on um, because it is just really not a pretty day here today. So we are gonna have lots of fun playing inside though with all of these beautiful things. I always say that like, you know, the drear hello Luann of like Michigan in the winter and like spring when it's rainy all the time. You know, you can't really let it get you down because you can be inside playing in your craft room, playing with lots and lots of beautiful things like today. And I was trying to figure out how do I even pronounce this? I'm probably going to, I don't know, butcher it, but I'm going to call it the Ranunculus Romance Bundle. I have no idea if that's how you say it, but this is a bundle that's been around for a little while. I think it came out in last year's Mm, um, last year's mini catalog. Hello, was that Pam, I think? <laughs> oh, 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 that's fun. Awesome. Your Alma family is on their way to you. Well, tell your Alma family I said hello. And um, yeah, watch anytime. That's the beauty of Facebook Live, right? You can watch it live or later whenever it's convenient for you. So yes, we are playing. This is a beautiful bundle. It's funny because so there's the stamp set um, and then the die set. And a friend of mine ordered these probably... I don't know, it's been quite a while ago and I kind of like, it never jumped out at me in the catalog and then I happened to, um, when she was ordering and I really took a good look and I was like, you know what? I really want that bundle also. So I bought it and then it sat in my craft room for a while and it's actually retiring now. So um, what do my notes say? Cause the one kind of cool thing, so the stamp set and I'll tell you <clears throat> fun sentiments and I love, like I'm, I'm not, uh that kind of wispy vintage looking normally hello pam thank you i'm so glad you found the videos also um but there's something about uh, like this look like kind of in life i'm not like that like i'm more of like the bold bright colors but there's something about the layering i think it's you know it's like kind of this old vintage look with like this handwriting and then and i always think of like oh paris like getting to europe um with that little stamp there and then even this is like a little postmark kind of a stamp i think and then some beautiful floral images and a couple of great sentiments so we've got thank you for sharing your heart that's a different one that we don't normally see and a stamp set just for you i've used that a bunch of times like on my little like club member treats and things and then we've got a little just because and a hello so beautiful stamp set this stamp set is retiring and I'm kind of not going to get too much into that because uh, well actually I what I will say is they've Stampin' Up! has announced all of the products that are retiring out of our mini catalog and our annual catalog so anything that's not on these lists you will be able to find in our next annual catalog However, the deal, like the, um, you know, up to 60% off doesn't start until next Tuesday, April 4th. So, for example, the stamp set is um, on the retiring list. It's not going to be on sale. So if you love the stamp set, you might want to get it right now. But um, the dies, so the, the ro I'm just going to call the, ro the romance dies. <laughs> yeah, the, they're the, I guess they're the ranunculus. However you say that, you guys help me out. I, I meant to like ask Siri before I got on and I, I forgot. Um, but anyway, these dies are actually 60% off. So let me make sure I have it right. Yeah, normally these are $32 and they're gonna be on sale for $12.80 starting next Tuesday, April 4th. So you can see, um, you know, some of the dies in here are going to coordinate with the stamps. And then there are others that um, just kind of add to the beauty of the stamped images, right? So we are gonna have an awesome time. I'm just so excited that I played with it just in the nick of time before it retires. You can get it, um, actually it's not even a bundle. So I would say um, if you can wait, and that's the thing too, I like hesitate to say, like if you can wait, um, well, I would do it right on April 4th. If you're gonna order um, and you love these things, I would do it right on April 4th so you can get your 60% off, $12.80 for that beautiful set of dies. That's unbelievable. And then um, I think the stamp, 
Did I, did I put that on here? I guess I didn't put that price on here. $22, I think the stamp set is. So um, yeah, I guess the big thing is I, I am gonna post, I was like, do I post, do I not post? But I'm gonna um, post this afternoon the retiring list. So the annual catalog retiring list and the mini catalog retiring list, just so you guys can see everything that's retiring um, because everything is now like, while supplies last so when they're gone they're gone so if you love this stamp set you might want to order it right away because it is you know whenever the last one sells out then that's that the dies i bet probably everybody's going to wait um you know anything that's on sale maybe wait until april 4th and anything that's not on sale or would just break your heart if you didn't get i would order it right now um, but like i said i'll post those lists you guys maybe have seen them um you know on other um pages and that sort of thing so you might already know what's what's retiring i have literally my other work jobs my other life has been so busy that i haven't really even had a chance to look through everything yet so that's my plan for the weekend is go through i'm going to highlight all my catalogs so i can be really like <laughs> well versed in what's retiring uh, but again sale um up to 60 percent off all of that doesn't start until tuesday april 4th okay um, but the one thing I will say is we have a bunch of retiring colors. So our core colors, I'm going to kind of flash this up here and then we'll talk about each of these just so you guys know. And I've been trying to post here on our Facebook group and um, email about it just so everybody knows. So there's no like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. I've been trying to, um, you know, let people know as best I can. So hopefully I've done a decent job of that. But this color refresh, basically, hi Sharon, good morning, good morning, means that ah, all of these colors are retiring. So these are, Mina, hello, welcome, welcome. These are colors that are in our um, kind of core color collections that are not gonna be available any longer. So I would say, I'm gonna give you the list of colors, flash you know, the cardstock up here so you can see, but if you like and want the cardstock, if you haven't gotten the ink pad, if you have an ink pad and you don't have the ink refill, if you don't have the markers or the blends, um, there are embellishments and ribbon in, these, in some of these colors too. It's all retiring, so it won't be available in the next annual catalog. These colors are gone, gone, gone forever. So for example, if you love this color is Mango Melody. This is one of them that's retiring. Oh, the lighting's gonna get really weird <laughs> when I do that. Okay, so that's one that's retiring. Uh, so Saffron, this is in the Subtles collection. Pear Pizzazz, also in the Subtles collection. Uh, Mint Macaron, also in the Subtles collection. Um, Blushing Bride, Subtles collection. This one makes me really, really, really sad. This is Bermuda Bay. This is the one that is breaking my heart that they are getting rid of because I love Bermuda Bay. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, you know, there's, everybody probably has their maybe one or two. That's my one right there. I'm like, oh, dagger to my heart. I can't believe you're getting rid of it. Rich Razzleberry, uh, Pacific Point. That one's from the Brights. This one is Mary Merlot from the Neutrals. Then last two, we have Sahara Sand and Soft Suede. So I think it's 11 different colors. So if any of these colors are colors that you love, get them now. I haven't checked. That was another thing I kind of meant to do and I, I just ran out of time. Um, but I was curious to look on our inventory status report and see if any of these things have sold out already. But these are the things, you know, people are panicking probably. Um, if there's, you know, like I said, if you love soft suede, get, get your cardstock, get all the items in those colors while you can. Um, but on the flip side, it's very exciting because we have lots of new colors. Well, lots of new colors coming and then some um, I think they're mainly in colors that were retired that are coming back. I'm not going to get into that too much because I don't even have those things right now. Um, we'll be posting about that, um, but you can't get those things yet anyway. Unless you're a demonstrator, then starting on April 4th, you're going to be able to pre-order some of those things. I think, I haven't even looked at the pre-order yet, but I'm sure we'll be able to get the new colors again. Um, but the one thing that I do know is, for example, the um, in colors that are retiring, oops, I put it over here because I didn't want it to um, this fresh freesia that we thought was going to retire from the 2021 23 in colors is actually coming back. It's going to be one of our colors in our subtle collection. So that's kind of cool, right? So lots of fun surprises coming in that regard, right? With the 
in colors that are coming back as core colors and then some brand new colors too. But in the meantime, I now know for sure that the rest of the in colors are retiring also. So polished pink, soft succulent, um, why am I drawing a blank? Um, it's a pa 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 pa. Pale, pale papaya <laughs> and evening evergreen. I kind of thought maybe that one would stick around too. Um, but these four out of the five in colors are retiring. So again, if you don't have what you want in these colors, get them while you can, because those are considering. So we've got like 15 colors that are retiring. Like that's a lot of colors that are retiring, right? I don't even have them fanned out all the way. But if you, if and also too, so you can order online, make sure you use the host code that I'll give you in just a little bit. If you're not comfortable ordering online, you can message me through Facebook Messenger, you can email me, you can text me, you can call me, my number 989-330-0259. I would be happy to put an order in and make sure you get any of these colors while you still can. So hello, Nikki. I don't know if Beth, I said hello to you yet or not either. So thanks for joining us, ladies. Okay, so yeah, that's kind of the deal. Lots and lots of changes, but lots of good stuff coming too. But I want to focus on what's leaving right now because that's what you want to make sure you get. We'll, we'll talk about what's coming on our next Facebook Live, okay? All right, <clears throat> you know me, I'm like a notes queen. I got to make sure I have mentioned everything I wanted to. I think we're good there, right? Okay, so just a quick reminder, our next one day retreat is on Saturday, April 29th. So it's coming up. It's about a month away. Gosh, it's like four weeks, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, I got a lot to do to get ready for that, but I will be ready to go. We'd love to have you join us if you're local or if you even want to make a road trip. We'd love to have you come hang out with us. We have a great group of ladies that are already signed up. Um, you have until, what's my deadline? Monday, April 17th. So about two weeks. Hi, Deb. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Yeah, so about two weeks left to sign up for the one day crafting retreat right here in Alma, Saturday, April 29th from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I feed you. I make cute treats for you. We have make and takes. We have a goodie bag. I bring all of my Stampin' Up! stamps and dies and embossing folders and punches. You can play with all of my stuff. I have a buy one, get one free sale there. It's an awesome day. Um, love to have you come join us for the day. So let me know if you need any info on that. I always include the link to uh, more info and for sign up um, above this Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded this afternoon, okay? So, but let me know if you have any questions or you would like to join us. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do our first drawing, okay? So we are gonna draw for, these are the gold faceted gems and these are retiring. That was, I kind of tried to go through and the things that I'm featuring, I wanted to kind of at least know that, right? So these are not carrying over into the next um, annual catalog. So the gold faceted gems, make sure you order these while you still, is that what they're called? No, the gold faceted sequins, gold faceted adhesive backed because they do have the adhesive behind them, which I love. I love to not have to like put my own adhesive on these little futsy things. So your name is in my little basket or right here. If you shared our last Facebook live video, if you shared my class to go kit post, I would really appreciate if you would do all of that, any of that sharing for me. This Facebook live video will get you a next um, Facebook lives drawing. My class to go kit, I'm going to be working on that next one. Um, this weekend, actually, hopefully. Um, so I'll be posting that. So share that um, post also. So right here on our Facebook group, you can share it to your own, um, you know, your own news feed. If you're in other paper crafting groups, I truly, truly appreciate you helping me reach more people that love what we're doing, right? And then last way is if you have not signed up for my email list and you do that, um, again, that link is above this Facebook Live video. If you sign up for my email list, your name is in here also. Okay, so gotta always have to shake them around and make sure none of them are like stuck together because they do, they get a little bit stuck together and I want everyone to have a fair chance. Okay, so the lucky winner is, oh, Miss Bonnie Pasternick, congratulations. She's one of our Inkspired Stampers. Robin, hello, welcome, thanks for joining us. So Bonnie, I will get these um, mailed out to you and congratulations on winning these and thank you for sharing the video. All right, <clears throat> let's see. I gotta dump those out. Get ready for the next drawing. So 
In the meantime, on our next Facebook Live, we are going to give away, these are the festive pearls that actually were featured in our, I have to open them up because there's another color under here that you can't see. They were featured in our holiday catalog, but I think they're not just for holiday, right? We do have, so this is Cherry Cobbler. Now that's interesting because I was thinking this was soft succulent, which is a retiring color. Willow Dean, hello, welcome. But these are carrying over. That's what I wanted to make sure you guys knew. And then there's like a silver and a gold. So those, you know, those silver and gold, actually all of them, maybe other than the red, although I like the red. Not that I don't like it, but I feel like that's maybe more holiday-ish. But all these others, these beautiful pearls, you can use all throughout the year, right? So this is what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live is these beautiful festive pearls that are carrying over to our next annual catalog. Now I'm like, I gotta go check because I really thought that those were soft succulent, that second color right there. And maybe they are, every once in a while something funky like that happens um, where the color retires, but the embellishment doesn't every once in a while. So yeah, share this video right here, share the class to go kit post, or sign up for my email list and your name will go in the drawing next time we have Facebook Live, which is gonna be two weeks from today. So, right, what are we on? Yeah, we're the 31st. So not next, because Easter weekend is next weekend. So not next weekend, or not next Friday, but the following Friday. So I think it's the 14th, April 14th. So we will draw for our winner of those festive pearls on that Facebook Live. So. Yeah, all right, I need a quick sip of water. <clears throat> I'm like bouncing off the walls as usual, right? <laughs> Bernice, you're back, hello. Okay, so I want to give a shout out and congratulations to Robin Wellens. She is one of our Inkspired Stampers team members. She bought the starter kit a little bit ago and she just reached what's called qualified team member, which is at $900 in sales. So congratulations to Robin on reaching qualified team member. I love to reward my team members. She actually gets a $25 shopping spree from me as a congratulations for reaching qualified team member. The other cool thing is that means she's like halfway to her Bronze Elite promotion, which Stampin' Up! gives you a huge bonus when you get to Bronze Elite, which is $1,800 in sales. They give you a 25% discount or income on all of your orders, uh, rather than the 20% discount, which is what you start at when you first buy the starter kit. So she's halfway to getting to that Bronze Elite promotion too. So congratulations, Robin, you're doing an awesome job and we love to see that for you. So yes, okay, so the other thing I wanna show you guys, I feel like I have so, I have, do I say that all the time? I have so, so much I wanna share with you. Susie, hello. We had our team meeting, I guess it's been like two weeks ago, um, but I didn't do Facebook Live last Friday, so I'm like, oh, I gotta show you guys. So these were the beautiful cards that we created at our team meeting, and I'm forgetting the name of the, the bundle. Okay, so it's the Irresistible Blooms, the whole sweet collection really is what we use. So there's the stamps, dies, the Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper. And, ooh, Susie, you're out in California. Good for you, because it is darn ugly here in Michigan right now. Today is not a pretty day. Uh, okay, so yes, make and takes. And Susie is one of our Expired Stampers team members, so she got these make and takes as well. So hopefully you've had a chance to put these together too, Susie. Um, okay, so this first one with the sentiment, I couldn't be happier to have you as a friend and that beautiful hello, um, beautiful, is that what it is? Yeah, hello irresistible designer series paper, okay? There's that one and then this next one and this one we actually used the dies and die cut right out of the paper too with that beautiful thank you card. Isn't that one so pretty? And then here's another one. This is one of the dies as well with the paper peeking behind it there. Some more stamping and die cutting with the hello on that one. And then this is a cute one that says, I like you. And the paper, the paper is just gorgeous. And I love how you can see, right? Like that was kind of where we, we die cut the designer series paper, right? Like right there. So the dies work with the designer series paper. I think that's the coolest thing that they've started doing. And then these dots, they're beautiful. These loose flower dots. So these do not have adhesive. That's my one hesitation in these things because that makes them kind of futzy for me. I really wish, um, I don't need a million of them. I'd rather have them with adhesive on the back, stamping up if you're listening. Um, I know a lot of people don't mind them. So anyway, it's just like my little thing, but they're beautiful. Like if you, if you love them, I mean like the colors are just gorgeous. So if you can see those and then the pretty, um, kind of the greens there too, which is actually, I think this is Pretty Peacock, one of our um, in colors that is coming back. 
Um, they were kind of giving us a little sneak peek on this paper. Um, and then the gems as well at one of, of one of our colors that's coming back too. So yeah, if you're interested, um, become an Inkspired Stamper, buy that starter kit anytime. We do these make and takes every single month, even if you're long distance. I um, give you everything that you need to put your make and takes together. You do need the stamps and the dies, um, but everything else you'll get like you'll, and I've been including um, more um, product in the make and takes too, so it's super fun. We always use lots of fresh new product on our make and takes and they're always gorgeous. I promise, I promise, okay? So if you're interested in getting the starter kit, then you could do those make and takes every single month with us too. Like I said, I mail them to you for long distance, okay? Then we also at our team meeting do a fun something called the mystery project. And basically what I do is I'll post kind of all of the the dimensions and everything that you need to make your card, but I don't show you the card in advance. So you kind of come up with whatever you uh, kind of envision that we might be doing, and then we put it together um, at our team meeting. So this was my mystery project um, for this month. So you can see it's kind of this little accordion fold right here, right? And then this is just a quarter of a piece of cardstock that this is mounted on. So I, like I said, I gave kind of dimensions for all of this, um, some more details about how we're gonna be putting things together. And then um, you let your cre creativity kind of fly from there. And it's so fun to see what other people come up with um, in these mystery projects. So that's another fun thing that we do at our team meeting. The other thing I love to do is recognize, so I send out a, t um, a card to my top five sellers each month, which I don't have I usually make an extra one and I don't know, I guess I didn't this month. So I don't have that card, but what I also love to do is recognize anyone that had over $600 in sales in the month. We have what's called the $600 club and I love to give little um, prizes to everyone that makes it into the $600 club each month. So this month, each person that um, had more than $600 in sales, hello, Darnine, how are you? Um, received this beautiful bolt of that pool party grow green ribbon. This is, the ribbon is gorgeous. It's so easy to work with. I don't know if this is carrying over or not, but I really sure hope so, because I love this ribbon. It's beautiful. So yes, yeah, so everyone that had more than $600 in sales made it into our $600 club and received a bolt of that pool party ribbon. The other thing that we do on um, at our team meetings is swapping. Hello, Amy, thanks for joining us. So what that means basically is everyone that comes to the meeting and actually if you're long distance also, make up, and I always say like 10 cards, um, you'll make up 10 cards and either bring them to the meeting or mail them to me and I will swap them for you. And let me show you examples of the cards, the swap cards that everyone made this month. So this one is beautiful, look at this. And I told, so this is Elsie. Elsie Lynch made this one and I have to open it up and show you guys. Cause um, I forgot that I told her that. I'm like, oh Elsie, this is definitely gonna show up on Facebook Live, so I have to remember this. Isn't that so pretty? Like look at how, oops, oh she's got an envelope there too. I'm like, what's falling? Um, but yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah, this card layout, maybe on our next Facebook Live. Okay, I'm gonna have to set this aside, right? But isn't that beautiful? That was from Elsie. And then let's see, this one is from Sharon Greening. Beautiful, and I love that die too. Um, from the, maybe something fancy? I can't quite remember which one it is. <laughs> oh, you're welcome for the birthday card, Darlene. You just had a birthday. I hope you had a fabulous birthday. But yes, you are so very welcome. The, so this card says, um, Oh, I think it says you are everything wonderful. It's kind of covered up with the ribbon right there, so I can't tell for sure. Then this one I think was Jenny Boffman, and I love, so cute little Easter card right there, right, the Easter bunny with that paper that's so perfect for, for Easter cards too, right? And then Beth Martin actually made two cards because she, Sentimental Park. Thank you, Sharon. Yes, I, I knew, I was like, that's not it. This die is from Sentimental Park, thank you, because Sharon made this one, so she knows what she's talking about. And then yes, like I said, so Beth missed our meeting last month, so she brought her swaps from last month and this month, and everybody got a double dose of swap cards from Miss Beth. And so she did this beautiful for Easter, right? Celebrate his love. And then this one is very cool. So it's just featuring the designer series paper, and then we can add whatever sentiment we want to it. You can see there's a little bit of that glittered organdy ribbon there. You can kind of see it in the light there too, right? And then this is, um, the, is it the Fancy Flora designer series paper? Beautiful 
little paper. You could do it like that also and then put your sentiment down there. Actually, maybe that even works better, right? I don't know, it's back, backwards, upside down, inside out, all those things, right? So <laughs> anyway, so you can see we have lots and lots and lots of fun at our team meetings. So we would love for anyone that's interested in becoming a part of a very fabulous Inkspired Stampers team to buy that starter kit and do that. Um, participate in our make and takes and our swapping, creative challenges, business challenges, lots and lots of awesome things that you can be a part of. There's a separate Facebook group um, that we have just for our expired stampers. And if you're long distance, you can still participate, obviously, in the Facebook group, in the swapping, in the make and takes. Um, oh, we do Facebook live meetings too, right on that. Um, team Facebook page also, so you can still feel very connected even if you're further away. I think my long distance gals that are in our team would say that they're kind of, they're all getting to know each other just by being a part of that Facebook group, which I think you guys feel that too, even with this Facebook group as well. So love that, love that kind of community and interaction that we all have together too. So thank you for participating too in that and kind of helping create that sense of community for us too. So. It's a good, good feeling, isn't it, right? Okay, um, you know what, did I miss? Ooh, I did because, oh, okay, so this was the other, yeah, and I was like, I feel like there's something else on my table that I didn't mention here, but so back to um, the retiring colors, we did, so kind of a couple fun things that I've done. Um, so I get together a couple times a year with some very good friends of mine. We call it the Girls craft o -rama weekend. Basically, it's like our own little weekend retreat just for the four of us, and we rotate at each other's houses. Um, so mine's not for a little bit, so that's good. Um, <laughs> it's always more fun to go somewhere else and let someone else host, right, I guess. I don't know. I don't mind having it here, though, because then you don't have to take all your stuff with you either, right? So anyway, though, so the last um, craft orama that we did, we knew that a color refresh was coming, but we didn't know anything more than that. So we decided we we're going to have a little bet and we would all pick um, six colors out of our current color collections that we thought we were, were retiring. And the winner, whoever had the most um, colors picked that really did retire, um, the, uh, the losers then would all have to make a card with the retiring colors and send it to her. So I won actually, so it was, it was tough. So I had three of the six um, colors. Now, which ones did I, I'm trying to remember. I'm sure I had, I had Mary Merlot, Rich Razzleberry, and a, maybe Sahara Sam. I'm trying to remember what the third one was. But um, a couple of the other gals had two correct and one friend only had one correct. So clearly, woo, 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 I was the winner that I picked three out of the six that we could ch that we chose basically, right? So I'm going to be getting these fun cards, and that was the like we've kind of been bantering back and forth about this. So the latest question was, "Hey, hello, Robin, welcome, welcome. Glad you can be here with us." Um, so the latest question was, "Now, do we have to use like as many of these retiring colors as we can and make this card as ugly as we possibly can?" And I was like. Oh, well, I said, you guys know these are going to show up on Facebook Live, right? So we'll see what everyone comes up with. So I think the one friend that asked that, she's like, well, maybe I'll make one really ugly one and then one not so ugly. So we'll see. It'll be fun to see what they come up with, um, with all these retiring colors and how many they can fit. Because that, like, that's a lot of colors on one, <laughs> on one card, right? Like that would be, that would be a lot. That would be really a lot. So, but the other fun thing that we did was at my celebration celebration event, I was like, okay, we gotta have like a fun game. What can we play? So that was our game too. And I, so I basically gave everybody a little piece of paper and they had to put their the five colors that they thought were going to be retiring. And whoever picked the most colors there, which so I just kind of went through that last night actually. Um, so whoever had the most colors, and fortunately there was not a tie. So Miss Diane Kreitz was the one that picked the most colors, um, which actually she had two out of the five. I think everybody else only had either one or none. So she did a really good job. She picked So Saffron and Pacific Point as um, two of the five colors that were retiring and those two 
we're retiring, right? So she will receive a bolt of, this is the polished pink open weave ribbon that is also retiring. So congratulations to Diane. That was just kind of a fun, <laughs> Danielle. So Danielle was there too, and she just posted, I just saw your comment, Danielle, about um, the retiring colors. And she, I think she was like, man, I totally missed it. I don't think I picked any of the colors and I don't think you did either, Danielle. But you never know. I thought it was kind of funny though, because it's kind of one of those you like learn people's preferences too because generally I mean the colors that are retiring you're like oh you don't have much love for those right so those it was fun to see who picked which colors um, and which ones that are like eh, you know kind of like you wouldn't really care either if they went away right because they're things that maybe you don't use that much either so anyway that was all just kind of in fun so congratulations to Diane I will put this out on the porch for you and let you know it's out there so stop by anytime to pick that up so, all right, let's see. I feel like I've talked a lot. We are almost ready to flip the camera down. We are gonna do our other drawing. So <clears throat> if you put an order in through me during like the last two weeks since our last Facebook Live, you automatically receive both of the projects that I made on our last Facebook Live. So you're gonna get both of these cards free with your $50 order. You also got to pick from the demo design dream team pdf tutorial or the free embellishment which at the moment is because things keep changing i had another the milky dots for what my free embellishment was for march and then they sold out so i went to the um, beautiful the iridescent pastel gem so you can pick either the demo design dream team pdf tutorial or the um free embellishment you also got 15 free cards all month long if you put a $50 order in. And you know what? I'm gonna, I'll keep it through today. So if you put an order in today, March 31st, because I was celebrating my 15 year anniversary all month long. So today only, if you put a, an order in, get those retiring products while you can, right? Anything that's not gonna be on sale, I would say. Um, yes, so order those, you get all of that, right? Although I'm gonna show you what we're gonna make on our next Facebook Live. Sorry, this gets so confusing, doesn't it? But the other thing I wanted to make sure to let you know, well, actually, no, let's do our drawing. So we're gonna draw, so that was last time, right? They got those projects, the last Facebook Live, they got to pick from the March PDF tutorial or the free embellishment. They got 15 free cards and their name is in the drawing to win the Regals retiring, Regals retiring designer series paper because some of these colors like Rich Razzleberry right here is retiring. Okay, all right, so who is the lucky winner? I'm gonna shake these around, make sure they're not all stuck together. And let's see, one in my hand, Miss Lisa Berge. All right, congratulations, Lisa. You are the winner of the Regals Designer Series paper. That is the pumpkin pie on that side right there. So congratulations, Lisa. I will get that paper out to you as well. Okay, so not to, not to be confusing, but well, we'll show you the cards we're going to make in just a moment, right? Um, what are we going to give away on our next Facebook Live? Okay, we're going to give away, I have a pack of the Suttles. This is already gone. You can't even get this designer series paper anymore. The Suttles designer series paper pack already sold out. A number of colors in here retiring. So this is your last chance to get this pack of paper right here on my Facebook Live. So put an order in through me of at least $50. Use the host code and your name will go in the drawing to win this. Hello, Debbie, on our next Facebook Live. The other thing I'm gonna do, because I have a whole bunch of this Dandy Designs designer series paper for every $50 order this month in April, you're gonna get this cute little uh, sampling of that paper as well. And I'll put that little tag on there and everything for you. So yeah, good stuff coming. All right, one more thing. Thank you, Debbie, for sharing the video too. I appreciate that. Um, just wanted to share with you guys this cute little, this was my club member treat for this month, featuring, and now I cannot even remember, but it's the beautiful, whatever this paper is that has the little, the, I think they're bunnies, and then obviously that's a little turtle. So this was so simple, right? So this box I actually cased from Angie Judah at Chicken Scratch. Um, this box basically, I think, did she put like a mini moon pie in here? I think that was her video. Thanks for sharing the video too, Beth. Um, but you know what else fits perfectly in here? And I have sampled many, many of them are the, um, Reese's peanut butter eggs. They fit perfectly inside this box. So that's what I put in my box, right? So this just opens up. 
on the top right there and you just slip your Reese's egg, which I wonder where that Reese's egg went. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to buy some more to fill this box back up, right? But, so this designer series paper, is it's like the rain, the rains, raindrops, I can't remember the name of it. Someone's gonna help me out, I know it. But the cool thing is like this, I just punched that cute little buddy right from the designer series paper and then those little flowers too. I just punched both of those and then layered them on top of some scallop circles. Used some, and, um, sorry about that guys, uh, that is the Balmy Blue and White Variegated Ribbon is um, carrying over into our next annual catalog too. So very, very cool, right? So yeah, okay. Um, sorry that like phone calls throwing me. Oh, well, sorry. I had told, there was a gal that was meaning to call me at like 10.30 this morning, and then she texted me to say, how about 12.15? And I was like, eh, I can do any time after one. And I thought that they got that message, but clearly she didn't because she was calling right there. So anyway, okay, focus back on Facebook Live. I get like, so <laughs> anyway. Okay, so let's, um, I think we're ready. We are going to flip the camera down. Yeah, okay. So I have my new host code. Hold on, let me just clean this off right here. Okay, flipping the camera down, turn your heads away. We're flying through the air like we always do. And we'll get you set up for some stamping now. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tighten things up here. There, okay, I think we're good. Are we good? I think we're good. We're gonna flip it down and see. How are we doing here? Okay, yep. Okay, so this is our new host code. This is gonna be our April host code, the PSR6K2S7. So this will be on my blog this afternoon when we get everything uploaded to, um, to my blog <clears throat> about today's Facebook Live video, I guess is what I was trying to say there. Okay, so I just wanna show you guys some scrapbook pages that we made at Scrapbook Class this month. Oops, apparently I only have one of those. Well. I guess here, we'll show you these two first. So these I totally cased from, oh, I forgot to write her name down too. I'm sorry, I wish I could remember her name, but I, I have discovered this um, Stampin' Up! Scrapbook Facebook group. And if you type in something like that, if you just search um, on Facebook, like Stampin' Up! Scrapbook group, I'm sure this will be, it's like a US, I don't even know if it's, or if it's global. Stampin' Up! Global Scrapbook Group, something like that. Anyway, so I saw these pages on there quite a while ago, and I absolutely loved them. Oh, Sharon is helping me out. Yes, Rain or Shine Designer Series Paper is what we have on. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. Yes, Rain or Shine. So cute. So you guys can see him a little bit better there too, right? But Anyway, so I apologize because I really, I don't want to take credit because I absolutely love these pages featuring that Share a Milkshake bundle, right? And some of, oh, and Sharon says this paper is retiring too. Yeah, usually almost all of, probably all of our designer series paper in both catalogs will be retiring. Occasionally there's like one pack that isn't, but just count on everything retiring. This is that, is it the, gosh, I... I haven't been doing Stampin' Up! stuff so much this week. My other jobs are just taking my head away from this, but this like cottage floral maybe designer series paper, super duper cute, right? And all those little patterns, right? And then that life is sweeter with you, right? So that was one page. And then here is the other page with um, a waffle cone. Gotta love the waffle cones, right? With the, you're the cherry on top. And then more of country floral, maybe designer series paper, right? Beautiful, right? So those were two pages. Then we made this page, and apparently I didn't bring the coordinating page over because we're gonna make that next month anyway. Um, but this is some of that flowers and more. This is the host designer series paper in our mini catalog, right, that will be retiring also. And then some stamping there that I'm, maybe that's the fancy, um, something fancy, I think, that, that's that stamp set in the dies. So beautiful, right, with some fun, bright, um, Tahitian tied card base there on that. Okay, we are going to, let's do our stamping now. You want to? You guys should see my table here. I think that's, I'm like taking a moment to like, holy mackerel, there's a lot of stuff piled up around here, but I think, I think I can do this. I'm gonna just ignore that side of the table and we're gonna work over on this other side here that's not quite as chaotic at this point. 
Okay, so again, we are playing now with, how do you guys say this? I want someone to call me later and <laughs> tell me. It looks like ranuncul ranunculus, doesn't it? Ranunculus romance. That's probably like a famous word that I just don't know. So awesome stamp set, right? And then the dies here also that coordinate. Okay, so let me show you guys our first project. Isn't this beautiful? So look at all of like the little detail. So these are the dies that just die cut. I just die cut them straight away out of the paper. Um, and I think this one right here is the one obviously that coordinates with this stamp. And then there's the die right there. And then I use some of that, the time worn type embossing folder on that little piece behind as well. Okay, so let me show you guys how we're gonna make this first project. Ooh, and now I know I made these like, I don't know, think back on Monday, which is like years ago um, in my mind right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, so hopefully I can remember. But okay, so this is kind of cool, right? So I have one of our retiring colors. We're gonna use ink in mint macaron. So this is one of our retiring colors right here. The mint macaron is going away. This is pool party, the card base though, okay? So we started with our, on the 11 inch side of our card stock, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So we're gonna make our fold just like that. Then, Actually, I think all of these other pieces are for stamping and die cutting. So we have crumb cake, retiring mint macaron, a piece of pool party, and a couple pieces of basic white for our stamping and die cutting, okay? So let's put our card together here. So actually, I'm gonna scoop this right up here. You guys can't see that, can you? There, okay. All right, so this we are going to die cut we're gonna die cut it and then we're gonna emboss it. That's the best way to do that. Just so you know, when you wanna die cut that scallop kind of rectangle, do that first and then do the embossing because if you do the embossing first and then die cut, you kind of smush your embossing when um, you go run it through the emboss or when you do the die cutting, okay? So these pieces are all just for die cutting. We need these little guys right here. Okay, so we are going to use our mint macaron ink and so nice easy tap 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 with our flower image and that's gonna go right there okay oops and then we also need this ink right here oops excuse me for our thank you for sharing that might be upside down we're gonna try it doesn't really matter okay yep there we go okay and that is all in terms of stamping right we're gonna just do both of those actually gonna just snip that right down so we don't need that piece. Okay, so now let's do our die cutting. Okay, got this right here. I think we might have to make two runs with this, but we'll see for sure, right? So we want this one and this one. Yeah, I would say so. We can probably do this one also. Okay, so I'm gonna do two cranks through the through the die cutting machine here. Okay, so we're gonna grab these dies out. We're gonna use these right here, are gonna go on there. And then we're gonna use this one right here on that. Then, what else do we have? Okay, then I use the all that dies. We're gonna use this little oval right there to die cut that one, okay? All right, so we're gonna get these lined up. That's a pretty tight fit there. This one we just need to have on the cardstock. Don't have to line anything up other than maybe kind of that outline around there as well. And then this one, we're gonna make sure we get things lined up here properly, okay? Okie dokie. Sorry if that's wiggling a little bit. All right, let's see what we've got here. Okay, ooh, how about those flowers? Beautiful, right? And then our cute little oval sentiment. And it, can you kind of see it just creates a little um, like embossed oval around the edge there, okay? And then how about this baby? Let's check this one out, right? Ooh, 
How much is that? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's see. I should have run that back and forth a little bit. Yeah, because that's going to take a moment to get those little pieces all out, isn't it? But that's not, you know, I can almost cheat and be like, oh, we don't need the middle ones because those kind of get covered up, right? Um, but yeah, so note to self, it's funny when I pulled that off, I'm like, oh, I probably should have run that a couple times. Um, but that is helpful to get these things out. If I had, what do we have this little guy right here? We can use my, I'm like, I forgot my paper piercing tool. But some of these aren't gonna matter if they don't come out because we're gonna cover it up with the flowers. So I'll just make sure, because there's one that feels like it needs to be. Those couple, yeah. You know how sometimes like you need to run it a time or two to get every, everything out? But we've got most of them, right? Yeah. Yeah, those need to be run a little bit more, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna just dump all those little pieces over here for somebody. <laughs> sure wish Lily was home sometimes um, to clean up later. Okay, now let's do the rest of our die cutting. Okay, so we've got this piece. I wonder if I can do, <laughs> I think that'll work, right? Can we get them on here? Okay. So what do I have here? I have, these are the scalloped contour dies. I don't know if these are retiring. I sure hope not, because I use these all the time. We're gonna use that big scallop rectangle piece right there, okay? So again, we're gonna die cut, and then we're gonna emboss, and then we need a couple more. We're gonna use this kind of leafy piece, and then this guy right here on our pool party cardstock. Okay, and so again, these don't have to line anything up, just need to make sure they're on the cardstock. Okay, and we're gonna go back and forth a time or two. Um, I don't know if I really need it, but just to be safe, should have done that with the other one, but that's gonna be all right. Okay, all right, so what do we have here? Okay, so love that piece right there, Robin. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. All right. Yes, that feel it is it is nice to see other people make mistakes too, isn't it? You're like, phew, okay, I'm not the only one. <laughs> yes, I'm glad I can help you feel better too. There we go. There's that little flower piece. And then isn't this cool? So this one did um some kind of embossing in there too. Oh good, the dyes are not retiring. Yay! Okay, so Sharon, I'm pretty sure she's talking about these, the scalloped contour dyes that I just used. This one right here. Yay! Okay, you made my day, Sharon. Thank you for that. Love that. Thank you for your help too. You guys are like my lovely assistants in some of these things. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now we are going to do our embossing. Okay, so we're going to put this right on here. Where's my embossing folder? So I've got my time-worn type embossing folder that I think is perfect, right? Like, don't you, can't, don't you just feel like they should have even been in the same, like, suite together? There's just something about the look that works perfectly with um, that stamp set, too. Okay, so I want to just make sure that the writing is kind of going the correct direction. You can't really tell what it says, but... You don't want the writing like, you know, sideways, right? That would be kind of funny. Okay, so we're cranking this right through here. If I didn't say it earlier, I just want to remind myself to say it again, that all of the details on both of these cards will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. So if you missed what anything was, if you wanna know item numbers, to be able to make these projects on your own, order these things, they'll all be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon, okay? So check that out. Isn't that cool, right? Yeah, it's just, it's like this kind of beautiful old look, I guess I would say. Okay, so this was a last minute ad to, you guys are gonna laugh at this, do I even have? <laughs> so I have this little dish that I put all of like my ribbon scraps in and so I made this card and um, I was like, you know what? It needs a little something else and it needed this ribbon. So I literally like just kind of wove it um, back in there 
after <laughs> everything was put together. There we go. We're going to trim that up a little bit. So, um, but then the problem I realized was, oh, this little scrap of pool party ribbon, that was the last one I have. I have this one that I think is not quite long enough. So we're going to use some soft succulent ribbon that I think will work perfectly underneath there also. But this was another little scrap that I had. I just can't throw some of these things away because you never know when you might be able to use them, right? Okay. So, Let's see, we are, so we're gonna actually start this time because part of the problem with this one is it needs to be adhered down, like I want it to be up there a little bit more and it keeps flipping down because I didn't adhere it to anything as I slipped it in there like after the fact. So we are going to run that one right there and then we're just gonna flip this over and kind of tack that one down. Mm, let's see, pull it over just a titch. There we go, okay. So that'll kind of keep that in place. Now we can, oops, I forgot my dimensionals. One moment, please, I'm gonna go grab those. Okay, <laughs> here I come. All right, so we need and put some dimensionals on the back of this piece. I already peeled the backing off of a couple of these, okay? I just filed my fingernails, <laughs> clearly. I need a little bit more fingernail to work with. Okay, those are all sticky. Okay, there we go, and that one and that one, right? Those dimensional backings, right? They're always everywhere, aren't they? Okay, can we tell? <laughs> Now, I just didn't want it going sideways, I guess, but I can't even tell um, which way is <laughs> correct or not, but I guess that's all right, right? Okay, next we're gonna just add another strip of adhesive, and those little pieces that weren't gonna come out very well, we're gonna put those down at the bottom, and you will never, ever know it. Now I'm gonna grab my little silicone mat. I love using this little guy. This one I'm gonna put some dimensionals on. We're gonna just Put a little bit of adhesive. Oops. Well, we probably didn't need that little guy anyway, did we? So just be a little bit careful <laughs> when you're doing that, that you don't break something off, but that's gonna get tucked behind things. So that will be all right. We're gonna put that one like right there. And we're gonna put this one maybe right there. Now I'm gonna put some dimensionals behind these guys, which I still have those in my site. That's good. Okay, let's see. Oh, Beth is telling us the time-worn type embossing folder is in the new catalog too. Okay, yay. Thank you guys for helping me out with this. I really, really appreciate that. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys. All right, we're gonna add our little flowers like right there. We are going to put that little baby right there. And then last couple of little just to add a little something to our card. And I believe, I did kind of peek at embellishments. I think these iridescent pearls are carrying over also. Um, that, that's always the first thing. I mean, I was so curious about the colors, but then I always, I'm like, what kind of ribbon and bling do we have um, to play with? So that's what I did peek at <laughs> real quick. And like I said, I'm pretty sure that these little babies, they're being fairly futzy. So probably if I had my take your pick tool, which I've never gotten super proficient at. Okay, so when it flips over, that's usually when you can catch it. And um, that's what I need. I need a, just like, I need a flipper tool. There, that actually worked. Whew, okay. And that one there. Then last step, I just wanted to make it sparkle a little bit. So we're gonna use our Wink Stella. Someone taught me this trick. I don't know if it really works or not. So instead of shaking it, it doesn't make it clumpy and kind of go all over the place. You just kind of roll it in your hand to kind of, I don't know, activate it a little bit. And then we're going to just, so I'm just going to kind of squeeze and just circle around on here just to give a little bit of sparkle. Yeah. <laughs> so normally I have my glasses on. I'm like, I don't know, is there sparkle in there? But I, I tilted it and I could see some sparkle. Can you guys, can you guys see? 
there, that little bit of sparkle right there. So there we go, there's our first project. And you can see, right, so I think either of those ribbons work beautifully, those kind of soft muted tones um, work beautifully on that card. Okay, so we're gonna set those over there. That one that's got your Wink of Stella, just let that kind of dry somewhere a little bit. Okay, next project. We are all like askew here, aren't we? I am going to take a moment, because I, I don't know, I'm trying to remember. I guess I could look at the other card, but I think there's at least one, if not two stamps that I need to reuse. So we're going to kind of clean those off so we don't have a problem, right? Oh boy, sorry about that. I just knocked my... <laughs> my embossing plate, I kind of knocked it off of the table. So whew, if you were sleeping or falling asleep, you probably are awake now, right? <laughs> okay, so next card, and I love, okay, yes. Oh, let's see. Iridescent pearls are carrying over. <laughs> She's working, Sharon's working on her last, I know on your last chance list, what you're going to order out of there. I know that's my plan for the weekend too. Yes, yes. So look at, and I just, there's something about, like I was saying, it's almost like it isn't my look in like, I don't know, life, but in this card making, I don't know, that, that vintage kind of stamping over top of each other, kind of like making your own um, designer series paper just with stamps. So pretty, right? And same idea right there. Mary, hello, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's make this little baby here too. All right, we're gonna get some. So I do need that one, but I don't think I need these two. Okay, so, oh yeah, because we need all of these stamps. So I think we used almost all of the stamps in the stamp set too, so that's pretty cool, right? Okay, so again, fresh freesia we thought was going away, but it's not retiring. Instead of being an in color, it's gonna be one of our subtles, our core subtles colors, so woo hoo hoo, we're loving that. Okay, so piece of cardstock, again, along the 11 inch side, cut it at five and a half inches, along the eight and a half inch side, score it at four and a quarter inches. This one, this is our orientation on here, right, okay? All right, next, in terms of sizes, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. let's see. We have a piece of gray granite that measures, um, this is three and three quarters by five. Then we have soft sea foam that measures, this one is gonna be three and five eighths by four and seven eighths, so just kind of peeks out there. And then our basic white, that measures three and a half by four and three quarters. And that's just gonna layer right on there. And the fun thing was they do these color coach um, kind of color combinations for us. So I was looking at that, trying to like come up with a color combination. And I love that they kind of help us out with that too. So in the fresh freesia, they paired it with the soft sea foam and gray granite. And I'm like, perfect. That's exact like kind of look that I would want with this uh, stamp and die set, right? Okay. So we are going to do, oh, and then we've got extra pieces just for our stamping and die cutting here. So actually let's do, we're gonna stamp our fresh freesia. Uh, here's my, this one right here. Okay, so we're just gonna ink that up, nice easy, tap, 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 straight down and straight up, there we go, okay. So that's the only one, we're gonna die cut this and then we're gonna die cut these two little pieces, um, just die cutting, no stamping, okay. So then on our basic white, move this over here okay so we're going to start with these little stamps first okay in our gray granite okay we're going to stamp one maybe right there i'm just trying to get them kind of in each of the corners right okay so we've got those i think that's all we need there then we're going to use our soft sea foam and we're going to do our little It's like a little postmark stamp, right, from Paris. Kind of looks like to me. And then actually this other little guy. I'm looking at it. It's got the letter R. And then I'm like, does it say? I don't know. What does that even say? <laughs> R, num I don't know. Maybe it's in another language. <laughs> That's what I'm going to go with, right? <laughs> okay. Um, and then what else? Oh, actually, back over on here we are going to just snip off a little bit because i just need this teeny tiny little hello in gray granite 
and there's actually a die that came in this stamp set. Oops, well, there we go. We're gonna ink or uh, <laughs> die cut that one. I think that's all I did for stamping on there. And interestingly enough, I forgot my white piece on the inside, but you guys get the idea, right? With the flowers and fresh freesia, that kind of background um, in the gray granite and then the little um, postmark from Paris stamp in the soft sea foam, okay? All right, so I think we've done our stamping. Let's scoot this here. So now we can do our die cutting. Let me scoot all this stuff out of the way, okay. <clears throat> All righty. Okay, so we've got this one right here and that one, and then we're going to put the little dies on there too. Okay, so flower die I put in my other little tub. Okay, so that one goes on there. We'll fix that in just a moment. Now we have this teeny tiny little right there. Hi, Diane. Welcome. That's going to go on the hello, and then we want that little swirly curly guy, and then one more of these little guys. I like that one quite a lot. Okay, use that on both of the cards, actually. Let's see if we go these. Well, I probably needed a little bit wider piece. There we go, and the hello. Actually, I lined that one up pretty well if it stays. That will be fabulous. Okay, and we're going to go back and forth just so that one little baby um, with the detail hopefully gets cut fully out, right? Okay, all right. Look at those pretty flowers. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, so we got that one. We got our little hello. There's our little hello right there. Okay, don't lose that one. That's a tiny little buddy. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. And then these little pieces too. Cool beans. Oops. There we go. That little spriggy guy. And I think this one's very cool too, right? That little, I don't know, swirl. <laughs> yes, the beautiful soft colors. I love them too, Diane, especially, you know how it's just so seasonal, right? Subtles for me are like springtime colors. Regals are kind of fall. Brights are summer. Seems to kind of be the way. Okay, so we are going to kind of add all of our layers together and then put them on our card. Okay, so we've got our basic white layering on our soft sea foam. And then these I went off the edge. I don't like it when I do that. I always have to clean that off because otherwise things all stick, you know, I'll stick to my work surface. Okay, and we're gonna add these guys right on here. Okay, next. I'm going to run some adhesive like I did before. So this is our, what is this called? The Baker's Twine Essential Pack. This is gray granite, very vanilla, basic white crumb cake, and black are all of the um, colors in that Essentials Twine Pack. I'm just going to kind of, so you just, I say loop and tack. And sometimes the twine has a mind of its own, which I guess is fine, right? Just kind of loop and tack that there. And we can always, I'm gonna cut that a little bit long and see what happens, trim it off as we would like. Okay, again, we are going to, I'm gonna put some dimensionals behind this one, and I'm just gonna put some adhesive on each of these little guys. One little bit that needs to come out there, okay? Dimensionals, good. Okay, they're right here, okay? So we're gonna put one there and one there, and then, yeah, I think we'll just be able to add some adhesive on there. I'm gonna do that one and that one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put this guy on first. Okay, put him right there. And, and you know what? A lot of times this is too long. I'm actually gonna kind of trim that off and add a little bit more adhesive because I want that just to kind of layer back in there. Okay, put that one there and then kind of layer that one down there maybe, okay? And then we're gonna add our little hello 
right about there, okay? And then lastly, we are going to add, and I don't know if anybody else wants to check for me. <laughs> oh no, Sharon needs a bank loan for her last chance list order. <laughs> Well, I'm sure that bank would be happy to oblige. That's too funny. Yeah, I know. I'm sure we all have super long lists. <laughs> That's awesome. So Sharon, are these are these carrying over? I like these a lot too, the rustic metallic dots. So I kind of, I liked this, the rustic look. I thought that kind of went well again with the vintage look. Gee, I'm not, I'm not really showing <laughs> my proficiency. The best thing right there, flip it over. It's like a, what, a turtle on its back or something. And then you can... <laughs> There we go. Yes, flip it over and you're all set. And then one more right there. So there we go, ladies. What do we think? I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, there's woo, lots of lots of crafter math going on here, right? Okay. <laughs> all right. So here is the deal, ladies, and it gets even better than what I have listed on here, right? If you put an order in through me using this host code, you're going to get one of each of these projects that I just demonstrated on Facebook Live. Your name is entered into the drawing to win the Settles Designer Series Paper Pack. You get to pick from the April Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or a free embellishment. And I'm also throwing in this month only for April a little sample pack of the Dandy Designs Designer Series Paper. So thank you guys so much for hanging out, watching today. Don't forget, where are all those retiring colors, right? So yeah, just don't forget, look at all of these 15 different colors that are retiring. I can't even like span them all out here. That's a lot of colors, right? So if you love these colors, make sure you order what you can while you can. Do it this weekend. Use my host code and get all these freebies as well, okay? Because these colors, when they're gone, they're gone, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. I would be happy to help you put an order in too if you need help with that. Um, hope you guys have a great weekend and thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out with me today. Bye everybody.